the studio build out continues and this is one that I've really been looking forward to. This is from Edelcrow. It contains a slider and the motor and also the attachment head to adjust the camera angle. This is going to be the first time that I've used a slider. You know, I first saw them years and years ago on a YouTube channel called Campervan Culture. And if you've not seen Campervan Culture, go and check out some of the early stuff that Jed did. He picks up on some incredible little details and just makes the whole story flow really well worth watching um, even if you're not into camper vans yeah it's something that i'm i'm pretty keen on um, but if you're not into it just just watch it just for the story that goes with it some of them undertakes it goes across africa and all sorts of things but anyway go and have a look that is where i first saw sliders and that was about four years ago three years four years ago something like that i finally decided to make a purchase so I bought myself the Slider V5, it's the V3 motion, and it's also got the, the adjuster head 2 in here. So let's get it open, let's get it set up, and then start having a play. Right, let's get this bugger open then. Oh, really? I'm over the box like this, what's going to be on the top? In this case, we have packing. Lots and lots of packing. Oh, look at this. Tilt, flex tilt head two. There it is. Adapters. You can connect to anything in the world, which is good. Soft case. It's a bit of a relief, actually, because this case I was a bit concerned it was going to be massive but it is the V5 long but actually that's a relief it's S2 cable guess we'll find out what that is in the due course this feels like the motor this bad boy open. I'm hoping that this alone will improve the production value. It's going to be able to slow things way down, controlled movements with the motor as well. Um, that should make the ideas that I've got for the product videos later just come together nicely. So let's get it open, let's get it sorted and let's find out what it's all about. So, Sure they do that to increase the anticipation, you know, make the box open slowly. So I'll have a play with this. Magnetic snap-on belts. Because this has got two belt types and a set of tools. So the standard belt that's on here is felt. The idea of that is if you're gonna do it by hand, that you can use this just to manually control nice and steadily. So let's get this unlocked and get the thing open. Oh, these are tight. We'll use the other tool. Where is it? It's so dainty. Sometimes I lose it in my pocket. Ah, there we go. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nice. And this is the reason that I so much like this. This slider. Because you've got the ability to be able to mount this underneath. Onto a tripod using this and then you can double the distance of the slide so to be able to swap these belts out actually dead easy so these are just magnetic but then they're held in place 
by these wheels at the end, which should just lift out. And then these just snap back into place. Let's do the same on the other end. sitting properly at that end. Now it is. Oh gosh, tolerances are very tight, but that is a much better fit. A little bit of a click as it goes past. If you'll be able to hear it. Let's get the motor on next. Oh, look at that beastie. It's got a, well, it's a monitor on the side of it. So I should be able to see what's going on. Some kind of extension cable. Is that power extension? Could be the power. What else is in here? Oh, are these the screws to hold the thing in place? Look at this, how well engineered this is. This is the Allen key for doing the tensioning. So you should be able to and it's held in by, by a magnet. How cool is that? That, that is properly well thought out. All I need to know now is which jolly way round shall I do it? Shall I do it that end or shall I do it that end? I don't think it really matters, but I think, let's try this end. So I think it's going to engage just like that. Seems simple enough. It seems far too simple, if anything. Right, let's loose fit it. And then try it in position. Just about fits on the desk. Just about. Let's find a power unit. UK, connect on cable. Ba, 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 ba. Oh dear, bit of a picnic problem. There we go, that's sorted it. Picnic, problem in chair, not in computer. Oh, that is a bit of a simple touch. There we go, we've got life. Better get the app downloaded and get it paired then, hadn't we? Well, that was relatively painless. Got the app downloaded on the phone. It just connected up straight away, very easy. So now I can move it. Now you can hear that. Not my daughter laughing in the background, no, no. This, on this surface, it's acting as a bit of a speaker. So the sound is vibrating up, so maybe you can be hearing it through the microphone, but. That is very cool. I'm gonna get this set up. I'm gonna get the camera on it and then we'll give it a little test, see how it looks. But for now, <laughs> cook it on gas. Power off, powered off. And that's that. Super. Last of the three then to be able to mount the camera is the tilt head. And this is the tilt head version two. So I've got nothing to compare against. Didn't get tilt head version one. So I don't know how much better this is going to be than version one. On here, you've got a bit of a level. You've got the huge spinny thing that should just go straight on here. Ooh, very cool shift into all sorts of different angles. You can, in fact, do it in Instagram mode, in regular and tilted. Let's get a camera on there and see how it looks. Right then, let's get this test on the way. So we've got an old camera here, it's my G85. It's my first 4K camera. That's weird, you have to actually, you have to pair it again. That's weird. Off we go. So I've got my old camera set up here. I'm just gonna do a test across. Now I did try and set this up earlier 
on a mini tripod, like a, a three-way thing, and uh, hasn't got its max limits set. I haven't done anything with this yet, other than literally bang the camera on it and get it up and going. There we go, and this is what happens. I think I'm gonna have a bit of a play around with this now, see what sort of results I can get out of it. So far, I'm quite pleased with this little beastie. Quite pleased. Right then, and I'm pleased to say, carry on having a bit of a play, and we can get it working on the Manfrotto B3 Live. I did notice when I went to the extreme that there is some movement in the tripod which is a bit unnerving. I tend to want to go to about there as a max. But even so, that is going to be awesome.